Good evening, everyone. Ramban, in this week's Parsha, has a fascinating comment about Lashon HaKodesh. The Mepharshim have a machlokas as to how Yosef, when he reveals himself to the brothers, how does Yosef prove to them that he is indeed who he claims to be? How does he prove to them that he is Yosef? So Rashi, basing, basing himself off of Targum Unklis, writes that one of the things that Yosef did to prove to the brothers that he was Yosef was that he spoke to them the Lashon HaKodesh. In other words, Rashi says that one of the things that Yosef did was that he spoke to them in a language that only he and his brothers would know. Ramban disagrees and writes that Yosef speaking Lashon HaKodesh would not have proved that he was who he claimed to be because, says Ramban, Lashon HaKodesh was not a language that was unique to Yosef and his brothers. It was not a language that was unique to Avraham and his descendants, but rather was the language of the people of Canaan. Says Ramban, the language of the children of Avram Avinu, of Avram Avinu and his family, was indeed Aramit. And we see that when Yaakov leaves Laban's house, that the language that Yaakov speaks with Laban is Aramit. Says Ramban, um, Lashon HaKodesh was indeed the second language of Avram Avinu, the language that Avram Avinu picked up when he came to Canaan, and it was a language that Avraham learned when living in Canaan. So, says the Ramban, because Lashon HaKodesh was the language of Canaan, it would make sense that a prominent person in Mitzrayim should have been able to speak um, the language of Canaan, being the bordering country with Canaan, it would not have been unusual for someone prominent in government to be able to speak the bordering country's language. The Ramban, um, seems to be going against what he writes in Parshat Ki Tisa. In Parshat Ki Tisa, commenting on the word Shekel HaKodesh, uh, Ramban has a machloket there, ala Torah, between himself and Rambam, as to why Lashon HaKodesh is called Lashon HaKodesh. Rambam is of the position that Lashon HaKodesh is called Lashon HaKodesh because it lacks specific words for not so nice, such nice things, and the Ramban disagrees. He says that's clearly not why Lashon HaKodesh is called Lashon HaKodesh. It's not because uh, Ivrit um, lacks a certain set of words, but rather is called Lashon HaKodesh because of all the wonderful things we associate with Lashon HaKodesh. It is the language in which Hashem made the world, it is the Lashon in which Hashem wrote the Torah, it is the Lashon in which Hashem speaks to his Nevi'im, and it is the Lashon through which Hashem names, gives, gives names to several prominent members of Klal Yisrael, including Avraham, Yitzchak, and Yaakov. When Hashem names Avraham that you will be Av Hamon Goyim, that, that uh, that naming only makes sense in Lashon HaKodesh. So how do we resolve that? Um, it may be that Ramban is of the position that while this is not a language that is unique to Am Yisrael, it is the language that was given to Eretz Yisrael. It was the language that was supposed to be spoken in Eretz Yisrael. What is curious um, about this Ramban is that uh, when it comes to the history of the Jewish people, indeed what we find is that the Jewish people throughout our history have spoken many languages. They spoke uh, Ladino while living in um, Spain and in the Levant. Uh, they spoke Yiddish while living in uh, Europe. And uh, we ourselves, as um, American Jewry, speak English. And it is only when uh, the Bnei Yisrael have returned to Eretz Yisrael, both by Bnei Israel and living in Eretz Israel, have we started to see the reemergence of Lashon Hakodesh spoken as the language of our people.